a team of engineering students edge closer to completing the Formula SAE race car. Team director Fred Hogarth and engine team member Jeff Nelson give an update on their senior project. Well, we got uh, the suspension on, mm -hmm. uh, rear suspension, uh, axles cut and welded. Okay. Um, all our adapters came in so we could run the Geo Metro uprights back here. Okay. Uh, all our hardware's coming in so we can uh, start cutting our tire rods. We got a solid rod running up here to here. Okay. And that's going to rock this as the suspension travels. And this is going to rock the shock. And here's our engine mounts. We got these fully mounted. Uh, two removable bars here, and then solid mounts down here, here, and another solid mount on the back. It's in there pretty good. Uh, it's not even fully welded, but it doesn't even move at all. So you said Yamaha R6 engine, right? Right. Or a motor. Um, so what's done to the motor? I know that it's just not Yamaha R6 motor plane. You have a restrictor plate that you have to put on? And right. We have a 20 millimeter restrictor uh, that goes in the intake. We're going to have a throttle body up here. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it comes down to a gradual, uh, gradual step down to the restriction and a gradual step back up. And then it comes into the plenum. And we have the four separate runners out of the plenum. And the runners are tuned for about I think, eight or 10,000 RPM. All the air has to go through you know, a 20 millimeter diameter circle, which is only about that big. So it'll cut us back to about 70 horsepower or so. How much do you guys think the car's gonna weigh on the end, or roughly? Uh, we did our math around 600 pounds. 600 pounds? Yeah. How much does the motorcycle weigh? Uh, probably 400. 400? Uh, maybe 450 with a rider. Cool. I think they're around a little over 300 normal. All right. So it's going to be fat. Uh, this is the finished Venturi. So that's what you designed and what's going to be going right here. Yep. That's about the same. It's almost the, I think the, the design, the math and everything is actually about the same, the dimensions anyway. That's the air cleaner, that's the throttle body, and that is the Venturi all in one piece. So that's a good thing to have. At least things are starting to come together. How long uh, did it take to do all this? Did you just do it all in like a couple weeks and you had your time then you finish I, it and you're I done? I could have sent it off, but budget is limited. And first quote I got was 1000 Second quote was 500 So I just bit the bullet and did it myself, and I'm glad I did. I actually learned a hell of a lot more than I did in the classes about um, the CNC mills. It does take time. I mean, each of these little flanges, it's like three, four hours, something like that. Milling is a lot of fun because you're carving things out of metal, and that's pretty sweet. That's yeah. never, that's never boring. So. Yeah. Sparks, huh? Right, I'm guessing. Yeah. What are some of the hardest parts of making this car happen? Well, uh, like this one, for instance. I mean, you know, these are cuts are obviously super ugly cuts, but that's because the guy who designed them, he didn't account for the. Like normally they were flat like this, mm -hmm. and you see how the holes, they line up, but there's no, like I can't rotate around here. So the guy had to grind them all away, so now we can rock on them. You see. And then, you know, there's a spacer here. We got that angle wrong, I'd use a spacer. Stack some plate there. The wheel we're working with is kind of ridiculous, and it's uh, offset setting. So we have, uh, we had to make these big spacers. Because the inside of the wheel is like not is, is way out towards the outside, so yeah. we have to space out to reach it. I see. But you know we couldn't afford wheels at the time, uh -huh. so we had to design two. If we had if we had tons of money and we could buy what we wanted, um, then we could we could buy wheels that would have bolted straight to here. Mm -hmm. uh, but we already had these wheels lying around mm -hmm. from last year that they never used, so we might as well. 